Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mommy Stacy, and today I'm gonna be talking about. I feel like I need to get closer. Today, we're going to be talking about a very serious topic because the Holy Spirit prompted me to get on here, and I felt like recording this video outside. You know, I wanted some greenery, some leaves, some nature. I didn't feel like um, being indoors and recording the video. Airplane. All right, yeah, so I got my Bible, right? Listen, man, we're gonna get this video recorded. I got my Bible right here. And I got my journal right here. So the Holy Spirit prompted me to get on here today to talk about sex. And he actually ministered to me that we're going to be doing, he wants me to do a um, series called Let's Talk About Sex, baby. Yeah, we're going to talk about sex because God created sex. So sex came from the creator. So we're going to talk about it. But we're not only going to talk about um what the Bible says, I'm also going to minister to you guys the spiritual implications behind fornication. And then I'm going to talk about the benefits of having it inside of marriage. Because if you're a believer and you call yourself a believer, you shouldn't be fornicating. You shouldn't be having sex. If you're having sex outside of marriage, then you don't love God. Yeah, you heard correctly. If you're having sex outside of marriage, then you don't love God. You don't love God like you say you do. Because God is against sex outside of marriage. You love yourself. You love yourself more than you love God. Anyone that has sex outside of marriage, anyone that commits the sins that God are against, you're a lover of yourself. You don't love God for real. You can go to church. You can watch the sermons online. You can read the Bible. You can. You don't love God for real. Because what, is the, what does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? It is written. The scriptures say... If you love me, then you obey my commands. It doesn't say love me, but disobey me because I love you anyways. And I'm going to cover you, which is true. He is going to cover us because he loves us. But how do we show God we love him back? By obeying what he says, by obeying the word of God, by obeying the Bible. I wouldn't be a real prophet if I didn't come up here and actually speak the truth to people that need to be set free. So yeah, he told me that we're going to be doing a series on my channel and on TikTok. And it's going to be called Let's Talk About Sex, Baby. Because a lot of people have been misinformed. A lot of people have been programmed by culture, by the world. And the Lord wants to set his captives free. But in order for you to, to be set free, you have to be renewed. You have to be reprogrammed by the renewing of your mind. That's also a scripture. So, oh my gosh, the, the lighting is going in and out. So, yeah. So how do we reprogram our mind? How do we renew our mind with the word? With the word. When we fill our mind with the word, we come against the lies of the enemy. We come against the lies of culture. So let us look in the scriptures. The first scripture we're going to look into is going to be 2 Timothy um, chapter 3. We're going to read from a verse. We're going to read from verse 1 all the way to 5. But mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money. People will be boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure, debauchery, that's debauchery, lovers of pleasure, um rather than lovers of god so and then it goes on saying having a form of godliness and that's exactly what's happening if we look around that's exactly what's happening right now that's exactly if you go to if you look around on social media if you look around in the movies if you look around on, on in the music that's being played right now that's exactly what is happening right now so we are living the last days People are lovers of themselves, you know? People are more interested in validation and people-pleasing than they are to surrendering their life to Christ. 
more interested in likes and BBLs than meeting Jesus Christ. People are more interested in pleasures of the world, pleasures of life, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, than they are of picking up their cross and carrying it and walking this walk of faith so that way they can inherit salvation. What we do here now, what we do here now, determines where we go spend eternity. What we do here with this life that we're given, because we're all only given one life, determines are we going to be with the creator or are we going to be with the adversary? Are we going to lead ourselves there? Because nobody's leading you. You're leading yourself by the decisions that you make, by the information that you ignore. Because what does the scripture say? My people perish for lack of knowledge. Ignoring, being ignorant to Satan's devices. So who's accountable? We are. We're accountable. Day of judgment. Your life will testify against you. That way you cannot lie to God. Your life will be the evidence when you stand before God on judgment day. When you have sex outside of marriage, you are not only sinning against God, but you are also sinning against your body. And there's scriptures to back it up. Ephesians 6, 18. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought with a high price. And if we go to 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 6, 2, 9, 11, it also says, do not be deceived. Because the people that will inherit the kingdom of God will neither be fornicators, idolaters, adulterers. What is an adulterer? An adulterer is someone who either has an affair, fornicates outside of their marriage, or someone who sleeps with multiple people. That's an adulterer. Okay? Homosexuals, sodomites, nor thieves covetous, nor drunkards, nor relevers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. So those are just to list some of the people that won't inherit the kingdom of God, but people who also won't inherit the kingdom of God are people who don't repent. People who don't live a lifestyle of repenting. People who never, what does the word repent mean? The word repent means to change your ways. It doesn't mean to just be sorry for what you did. It means to actually make a decision to change the direction of your path and go a different route. That's what repentance means. Repentance doesn't mean, oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then tomorrow you go back to doing it. That's not repentance. That's not repentance. You still lead yourself to hell by going back to doing it. That true repentance is changed behavior. I said, like the scripture says, in the last days, many people will be lovers of themselves. Many people will be lovers of money. Many people will put money as an idol, put uh, material things as an idol rather than... Um, wanting to save their soul they want to be liked and they want to people please the world and be liked by many but not liked by god because anyone who's a friend who anyone who's a lover of the world is an enemy to christ so you're an enemy to the creator of the world of everyone of all creation Do not let culture deceive you do not let the smoke screens, okay? Do not let the, 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 the stimulation, the false reality of this world deceive you because that's exactly what it is. Come out of this world, come out of the stimulation, come out of the matrix, come out of the false reality, come out of culture, come out of what people in the world are saying and tap into what the word, the word of God, the Bible says what the Bible says is true. Let every man be a liar and God be the truth. Not culture, not the rap music, not the pop music. Those things are lying to you. Not the movies. Oh, I slept with him on the first date. Or, oh, doing drugs is fine. No, that's culture deceiving you. You're living that lifestyle. You're not only losing your soul, but you're becoming an enemy to Christ. Just think about that. It's not even worth it. Imagine spending eternity in a thousand, a lake of thousand, thousand fires 
Is it gonna be worth it then? No, it's not. The last scripture I'm going to leave with you is uh, 1 John 2 to 15. And it says this, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of life, the lust of the flesh, my bad, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father. So if it doesn't come from the Father, then who does it come from? The adversary, Satan himself. So that's it for today's video. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> airplane <laughs> take it back to god of course i will be doing more teachings on sex and the spiritual the spiritual realm what happens in the spiritual realm when you fornicate and yeah y'all i love y'all with the love of christ i love y'all so much and take it back to jesus and i will be back with another video